see a whole lot of yuppies out there this morning. They seem to be very excited about something. I think they're planning to take a big test next week to show how much they've learned. I've talked to their teachers and they're all really, really proud of them. Well, you know, I think we ought to teach them about the Robertson way of doing things. That might help them with this test. Surely all us rednecks can come up with at least one useful piece of information. Hey, hey, well my advice is work hard, nap hard. Hey, that's what I always say, Jack. begins with making good decisions. Now, Jake and Saw over here, well, they've been known to make some significantly number of bad ones, but uh, I know you guys will make some good ones next week. Hey, you want some bitch mark wisdom? Listen here, Jack. Your teachers don't want you selling your answers on that grapes list. Leave your cell phones off. Better yet, just leave them at home. Hey, why do you need a cell phone anyway? We didn't have those cellular devices in them, and we did just fine, you bunch of city kids. Benchmark advice from Cy. Really, hold on, I got this. Hey, it's you in the morning. You want to sting like a butterfly and punch like a flea. You better be on time. Hey, that's 8 o'clock, Jack. Booyah! Oh, oh, I got a sign impersonation. I want to do mine. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have hat. Wait a minute, I gotta have tea glass. Can't do so. I no tea glass. Okay. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey. If you come to a hard question on that test, I mean a super hard question on that test, you just say to that test, hey, hey, test, I got so much knowledge up here in this head that I could survive a zombie nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> And then, don't spend all day on that question. You just come back to that later, Jack. Because, hey, ain't nobody got time for that. No, no. Next, you gotta eat. Cy claims he's the MacGyver of cooking. If you bring me a piece of bread, a cabbage, a coconut, mustard greens, pig feet, pine cones, and a woodpecker, I'll make you a good chicken pot pie. But you don't want to be stuck eating anything Sai's gonna cook. You better make yourself a good, good breakfast. Every morning in your stomach, you don't want to be growling. You don't want to sound like a demented squirrel. Did you hear me, Jack? Hey, hey, hey. Well, but everything does need to have some fun in it. I've heard Sai say many a times, a redneck that don't know how to have fun isn't a redneck at all. Actually, it's their middle name. Red Fun Neck. I heard that these kids have a chance to earn some benchmark bucks, some money. That sounds good to me. Working hard to earn your money sounds more like something Willie would go on on about. If you rednecks want to keep taking home a paycheck, you better stop goozing off and actually do some work. You ain't gonna get paid for doing nothing. Get to work. Last thing. You kids seem ready to me. This test is all about your mental fortitude. Your brains. I see a bunch of smart rednecks in this room. And if you say, hey, I can work hard and do this, then you'll get out there and do it. Now we're with the peanut oil. 
Now we're cooking with some peanut oil. Our advice, in a nutshell, work hard and hunt the and be happy, happy, happy. Just as hard as they can Whenever 